Hey guys, it's Anthony. Today I'm just going to be doing a short review on the Dell uh, PowerEdge R710. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, so let's first go over with the specs. It's a 2U server. It can handle quad cores or 6 core Intel Xeons uh, 55 and 5600 series. Um, so that means up to 12 megs of cache. Each of those processors can be uh, duplicated, so you can have two of each one. So you could have uh, two six cores, two four cores, and each uh, processor also has hyper-threading. So you can have a total of 24 threads in this machine. Um, it can support up to 288 gigs of RAM. It has 18 DIMM slots, so nine for each processor. And it uh, has uh, this one at least, if I take off the bezel. This one can handle up to eight two and a half inch hard drives. The configuration of the server that can handle six three and a half inch hard drives as well. This uh, configuration has the eight hard drives over here. It has the uh, IO, so video, two USBs. It also has the uh, display for displaying errors, information about the server. And then right here is a three and a quarter inch bay that you could put like a floppy disk drive in or maybe even a hard drive if you need to. All right, let's get into the server. All right, to open up the server, there's this little clip thing right here. So you just push on it and it'll open up. And then this lid, which is metal, just lifts right off. Alright, so the first thing we'll go over, here is where you can put an internal USB for the server. So you could like put uh, various operating systems that run off a of USB, Linux, uh, Hyper-V, uh, vSphere rather. Um, you can also get an extension for an SD card. And then also this is where you remove your DVD optical drive. Uh, there's also just some other stuff on here as well. And then, right here, is your, going to be your RAID battery. So this will save your configuration of your RAID, uh, and various things like that. Next thing is your SAS plane right here. And then this is where it will connect up to your hard drives. You can also take this out if you need. Uh, next thing we'll go over is there is five hot swappable fans in this type of server. Uh, orange means you can take it out while it's running. So I could take all these fans out if need be. I don't recommend it. Your uh, server would get pretty hot quick. But you can do it if need be. Um, this whole thing can be removed with these blue tabs. Usually on Dell servers, blue means that it cannot be removed while running, but it still can be easily removed. So after you pull that out, this whole fan assembly just comes right out. So I'll take that, I'll keep that out for now. Next thing we'll come to is this little plastic shroud that angles all the air coming from the fans over the RAM and the processors. So let me just remove that so you can get a better look. So here's the nine dims on this side and the nine dims on this side. And then here's the two processors. Right now I have two quad cores at 2.93 gigahertz that can turbo up to 3.3 so I have 16 threads in total 8 cores which is actually considered fairly nice for how cheap I got this server I only paid about 200 bucks and that's how much I see them going for roughly uh, already configured as low as 100 without anything so next thing we'll come to is the two hot swappable uh, power supplies you just need to keep one in, of course, otherwise your server will go down. Uh, next thing we have here is PCI uh, Express times 8. This thing actually will come out. Let me just remove this uh, graphics card. It's a half length uh, times 8 graphics card. Actually, I picked it up at Goodwill, surprisingly. Brand new. Uh, that's the only, unfortunately, that's the only type of graphics card that you can put in a server like this because the, uh, as you can see, it's half height. So let, here, let me get this graphics card out and I'll be right back. Alright, I got the graphics card out. 
So you just push on this tab and this thing card comes right out. As you can see, it take, takes a uh, normal time 16 slot and transfers it to two uh, X8 slots. Unfortunately, I have tried putting a graphics card in this slot right here and it did not work. It must see this riser in order to work, unfortunately. So the only way you could get a graphics card in is by using one of these half-height graphics cards. Uh, another uh, idea is, uh, half slot rather, another idea is you can take a Dremel and cut the end off of this right here. That's another idea. Uh, another one is actually using a PCI times one to PCI uh, times 16. Uh, that's actually what I do use when I need to use these servers for uh, uh, various games or various uh, complicated things that need graphical power. Um, I'll actually probably do another video if you'd like, guys would like, on how to do that. So let me just put this thing right back in. It goes in fairly easy. There we go. Alright, now we come to another riser card. This one can't be removed as easily, but it is another, uh, it's just like this one right here, with one 16x slot, but instead there is an 8x slot right here, and two 4x slots this, uh, in the size of 8x slots. So right here, this 8x is for your RAID controller. So right now, uh, I think it's just the generic Dell um, uh, 6 something, I forget the rest, but just the generic uh, controller. But you can put various different controllers in here, and that's what there we go. And then right here, since it's using the x x slot down here, it's taking half here, and then the half, rest of the half goes to here. So these are each 4x slots rather than 8x slots. All right, so let's get to the back of it. On the back of it, you can see the two power supplies, which are hot swappable. They have the orange tag on them. And you just push this, and then you're able to pull them right out. They're actually pretty small, probably about six or seven inches in length, and probably maybe two, two and a half inches wide by two, two inches uh, thick. And these are the 870 watt power supplies. They do make uh, a lower one, which is I think 570 watt. But that should be pretty much enough power for most things that you'll be doing, unless you fill this thing completely up with RAM and hard drives. Uh, next thing we'll have is we have this little button right here. And this, you can tap, and it will make this light blink, and then the panel in the front will blink if you're trying to find this uh, server in a rack that has many of these and it's hard to see which one has the problem. The next thing we come to is four Ethernet uh, ports. These are, uh, let's see, I think they are one gigabit but they might just be a hundred meg. Yeah, I think they're just a hundred meg. Uh, next over, we have two USB ports. Unfortunately, the server only has uh, four USBs in total, but that should be enough for most things that you will be needing. Uh, the next thing we'll have is a VGA. This is the second VGA. I don't know if you can have two monitors on the server, but I doubt it. Uh, and then the next thing we have is the serial port. Now, I don't use serial port, but it does have one. Now, you'll see this little empty space right here and here. That is for the iDRAC, which is like a uh, little mini computer almost that runs in your server and it tells you information about your server. So you can remote into the server, you can uh, access it, you can, it's almost, it has like its own uh, team viewer type thing inside of it so that you can uh, see what's wrong, you can see how much power it's using, what the temperature of it is. It's a really cool device. So I guess that concludes my uh, little quick video and tour of the Dell R710. I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you later. Bye.